Hello everyone, my name is Martin Miranda and I'm the Chief Engineer for the Chats Department this year. I'd like to first start off by introducing the team. On my right is as as well, uh, sorry, Ali Gomez, Ruben Sanchez, and Steven Segeda. The department goals for this year were to redesign the front line of the city of rules and also to simplify the manufacturing process which will aid in the easing the process of manufacturing and also optimizing the rigidity. On the front, on the front chart's presentation of all of those sorry. So for the design, we decided to take the shocks into consideration and all the suspension and decided to mount that in uh, We also decided to use large radii as uh, we did test several different radii and seen that the larger, the larger radii actually increased the rigidity. Uh, we reduced the shock angles because we wanted to improve the manufacturing and again, the continuous curvature to reduce the manufacturing. So for, we had to take the driver comfort into consideration since we needed to increase the overall dimensions of the cockpit. So we decided to add more room around the shoulder area and around the elbow area uh, in order to improve driver position. And we needed to also include driver seat inserts just to keep the driver in there since the chassis is getting bigger. For the manufacturing, we decided to machine a CNC, a female mold. And for the, for the layup, we decided to do a resin infusion process that allows us to manufacture large parts, allow, allows for lower curing temperatures, and the overall cost is actually lower as well. For the materials that we decided to use, we decided to go with a plainly 3K and a 6K 2x2 tool weave. Uh, the Hexel Flex Core with a 4.1 density and a 0.5 inch thickness, and the 3M film adhesive to AF3185 for its low curing properties and its good strength to hold onto uh, composite sandwich panels. So, for the laminate makeup, we decided that we would lay out a 6K outer 6K 2x2 12 weave outer ply with a 3K plain weave inner ply, uh, oriented in a fashion that would avoid any kind of complications if during the oven, you don't want to put a piece in the oven. And we would lay that next to a film adhesive and in the middle flex core, and then additionally the next film adhesive and then another 3K of the plain weave and then a 6K of the 2x2 two 12 two weave. Next I would like to pass it on to Mara Miranda to take over. <coughs> So when considering the deflection through the roll books, there are two parts to really consider. The suspension of the chassis. In an ideal situation, the chassis would have infinite rigidity to put the suspension to do all this work, but we aim for a percentage of 10% plus or minus half percent. And with the updated new information to suspension, a calculated range of about 450 to 1400 short pounds per degree roll are necessary to accomplish 10%. <coughs> So actually, calculate the original now. The original rigidity of the, of the, of the chassis, uh, the chassis is fixed at the rear in a 500 pound couple mold and a total of 1,000 pounds are applied. The calculated portion of the rigidity for this design is 1,434 foot pounds for the rear roll, which is actually a 25% increase in 2008. Here's a comparison of the rigidity from the chassis for the past few years, starting with 2005, which was the first composite frame. As you can see, we've been slowly increasing rigidity over the years. And we'll continue to do that this year. As far as suspension loading, that I mentioned earlier, we took a worst case scenario, which, you, which means that the chassis is held at the rear and on the upper side of the, where the arms are located. The results are a displacement of 0.021 inches, which has decreased 90% from last year. Pretty much, what it means really is that there will be no failure at the worst case scenario. The max, stress, the max stress that I found was 30,000 KSI. We actually did some panel testing. We took three different, three different panels that I've tested so far. Uh, we took a pre-pregged carbon fiber test panel with a core, and infused carbon fiber with a flex core, and the foam panel. The results were that the infused laminate was actually 19% lighter than the pre-pregged, 2.2% stronger than the pre-pregged. <coughs> Here is a graphical representation of our results. As you can see with the foam, it begins to plastically deform at around 640 pounds. Now it takes more loads, but it begins to deform before that. 
they, they don't get what I'm getting at is that this, the phone is really not something that should be considered for this application. So you know, comparing both aluminum core with infusion and prepare, you can see that they took about the same amount of forces, although the infusion panel that I made was actually slightly stronger. Here's a run on the projected weight for this year. So you can see we're, we're aiming at about 4.1% reduction last year, even though the chassis has gotten bigger dimensions. This is due to the new design and in the use of less core material. Here's a run on the front chassis cost. Unfortunately, this year, we were unable to get a sponsorship of the CNC work for the mole, and the primary cost coming from that. We we're estimating about $3,000 for the CNC work, and the rest is the infusion and buying necessary products for the infusion process and uh, the inserts that need to be purchased. And I'll go on the rolls and I continue to leave from the section. Thank you. Uh, good evening. My name is Fermin Sanchez, and I, I, I was in charge of uh, to do the analysis and the roles in the data frame. Even though our design is restricted by the SAE, the engineers find different ways to do analysis in order to reduce the weight on the components without sacrificing spin. And this is the total cost for the robots and, the, and some of the safety components because we already have a command, uh, command responsible Commodity uh, response for the tubing, the, this is the total cost. And this is the data requirement for the SAE, for the robots, and the total weight. For the main robots, I did the cutlass analysis, I restrained it to, to the brackets and, and to the engine mount. And I apply a force of 661, and I come out with a band uh, misses for 1.6 KSI with a maximum deflection, deflection of 0 0.004 inches. <coughs> 